My name's Sean Newberry and I work with Anchor Moisten Architects. Today I'm going to be looking at how to use the 2010 Americans with Disabilities Act to bring an existing project into compliance and up to code. As you can see in these two plans, the overall as well as the close-up version of the ramp plan, there's a lot going on on this site. We've got trees, we've got accessible parking, we've got a trench drain, and we have stairs. We did have parking considerations to think about though with this site. While the site itself did have the appropriate amount of accessible parking spaces, none of them were adjacent to the units in question, which is inconvenient to say the least for anybody who needs those units and needs those parking spaces. We were tasked with looking at how to incorporate new accessible parking spaces into the parking around this unit. We were hemmed in on one side by a trench drain that ran the entire width of the parking aisle and parking spaces, as well as the fact that the existing parking spaces sloped much more dramatically than 2010 ADAS would let us have. So we had to preserve the site drainage as well as bring up the pavement without touching the drain. So what we ended up doing was we ended up creating a dry swale here by curbing off where we raised up the pavement so that no one would accidentally step into the swale. To make things more difficult, there was a significant drop in elevation between where these parking spaces are and where the accessible units are, which created the need to have an accessible path of travel go from the parking to the units. 